If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. Me in this game, we got big plans. Overcoming every challenge. And right now, that means getting by him. It means putting in the time to get faster, to get stronger. One thing is for certain, I will never be outworked. I've worked with many mortgage companies over the years, from the big banks where I thought I could get the best, most competitive rate, to the small guys where I thought I'd get more personalized service. And I never thought I could have it both, until I met Family First. Family First gave me the most competitive rates in the market with unmatched service. Their team is incredible. They were always at arm's reach, ready to answer my questions, help me weigh different loan options, and work through some of the most challenging closing situations and timelines. I have to say without a doubt, Family First is the best in the business, and I strongly recommend them if you're looking to finance or refinance your home. Sports medicine is the care of athletes, college athletes, professional athletes, amateur athletes, and we see a lot of weekend warriors. At the Sports Medicine Center, we're up to date on all the latest techniques, both surgical and non-surgical treatment options for treating all sorts of injuries. It's important to make the diagnosis, make it quickly, and start the ball rolling with the treatment. If you can get an MRI done the same day of your injury, a lot of times that's gonna help get that treatment started in the right direction instead of waiting two, three weeks. I think reassurance, making the diagnosis, and coming up with a good plan for that particular athlete is a very good thing. It helps to get the folks back on track and limits how discouraged they can actually be from the injury. Patient education is important. We want the patient to be part of the treatment plan and having the patient have an understanding of what their injury is, what their treatment options are, that helps them to get back to the sport that they love. We have doctors with all different uh, specialties within sports medicine, state-of-the-art concussion care, regenerative medicine, and then of course we have our orthopedic surgeons. If something needs to be fixed, uh, we can fix it, more than likely in a minimally invasive uh, fashion. With the arthroscopic and minimally invasive procedures, we're able to do much of this surgery inside the joint without having to damage any of the surrounding tissue. It allows an athlete to return to sports much quicker. We're seeing excellent results with regenerative medicine. Ligament injuries that would normally have taken six to eight weeks, now we're seeing two to three week recovery periods. It gives me great pleasure to be able to treat an athlete and see them succeed back on the field.
The Rough Riders are trying to get back to winning ways, but Morris Elite are looking to pick up their second victory of the season. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this second game of a Morris Elite doubleheader. Morris Elite and Long Island Rough Riders, the women drew earlier 0-0. Will there be any difference in the men's game? We'll have to wait and see. It is a, a fun matchup, though for any fan to tune into. I'm Charlie Brooks, and alongside me is my color commentary. How are you feeling for this second game? Um, you know what? I feel that I've been, we've been here for the first game. We've seen some action, you know, seen some good action here, and I hope we're going to get another segment of good action as well with the men. Yeah, it should be a, a decent game. We get to see these two sides matchup for the second time this season first time around it was a 3-0 victory for the visitors or for the hosts on the day I should say the visitors today in Long Island and we'll see if they can replicate sorry we're just getting rid of 5-0 I was looking at another game on my notes sheet we're looking at the women's side of things I believe Actually, I was just looking at the wrong result. Morrissey Leader coming off of a 5-0 loss right. against Motown STA on Wednesday. Just jumped the gun a little bit with the score lines. But <laughs> Morrissey Leader just about ready to get us underway in this matchup between the top team in USL League 2 Metro Division and the bottom team. Morrissey Leader with a minus 26 Goal differential, so definitely want to avoid another 5-0 as they will get us underway and attack from left to right wearing the blue tops. The visitors, Long Island Rough Riders, wearing the all-white in this game. They are going right to left in the first half, so we'll see if anything can get going in this one as Jordi Navio will go backwards to Cormac Pike. Morrissey Lee have a have a decent team out today. As Jose Adamas is trying to run through the midfield, cannot. And here comes Long Island on the counter. Ball looking for Ryan Carmichael, and it will not reach the attacker. I've been told by Connor Donahue, the Penn State grad, that I should not mention the scoreline from Hofstra Penn State in the NCAA tournament. So I won't tell you what the score was, but. Mike, but Ryan Carmichael, he scored a couple of times. A couple of players in this game scored a lot. So it, it tells you Hofstra scored a lot. Let's just say that, Ryan. Let's say that, okay? 
No, as for the record, Connor, we did not mute Charlie. Connor said he would have me muted if I mentioned the score line too many times. So I got around the rules by not mentioning the score line. That's that's we, how I was able to, we did mention, to get around it. Yeah, we did mention a little something about Hofstra and Penn State there. Penn State, the Big Ten champions, both regular season and tournament. So there's the shout out. I had to, to mention that if I was going to mention Hofstra, a very Hofstra-minded Long Island Rough Riders team. Yeah. Definitely, As this definitely. ball is over the top. And it's taken down. And a foul committed in midfield. So, early free kick for the, for the Morris Elite side. It is going to be Jose Adamas who will step over it. He was listed as a defender, but playing up top for the last two games. As he sends the service in into the shade as the sun is really starting to set. It makes it fun for us broadcasters looking straight into the sun. I can only imagine what it's like for the players on the field. Very heated, definitely. Oh, and a nice meg by right, number 24. For Morris Lee. Good start for number 24, Jody, Jordy Navio. Good start for the hosts, but unable to get a shot on target. Wessel Spiel is the goalkeeper today. As here's a chance for Morris Elite, but it goes over the top by Will Pierce. And when I say it's a hostile minded team for Long Island, all of their front three today are either went to or at Hofstra University. Jaden Reed from Jaden, from UConn, you also have Pierce and Fuso. He's another Hofstra. In midfield, you don't have any Hofstra players, but in the back line, you have George O'Malley from Hofstra, Mason Tatafu from Hofstra, and their goalkeeper, Wessel Spiel from Hofstra. It makes sense though, that's Long Island's college. Long Island's team. New head coach on the sideline today for Long Island is their head coach, Tom Bones, serving a suspension as that one's put out for a corner kick. That was the number 10 of Rock Carlos Puig, who had two goals and one assist against Penn State in the NCAA tournament. Corner in, headed away, but not fully. And Tatafu will send it all the way back. Nice touch, ball to the outside. Long Island on the attack early here. And that cross deflected away. And that will be Ethan Streeter who gave the ball away. Ryan Carmichael goes backwards. Cross in, header. Saved by Velasquez. Alex Velasquez in net tonight for Morris Elite. That shot was by Albert Kang, a Loyola Maryland midfielder. And here's Ethan Streeter on the run with Pangrazi in support, gives it up instead to another player. Cross was looking for Pangrazi. Held on to by Morris Elite. Going backwards to Jordi Navio. Here's the ball up, cross, and Spiel will claim it. Oscar Valencia trying to find Alberto Pangrazi in the 18 yard box. Oh, 
Jaden Reed, his first touch. Nice back heel by Vowinkle. There it goes out. Talking to the usual Morrisley broadcaster, he just messaged me, asked Connor, how many goals were scored by Hofstra? So this answer is eight. That is your answer. Penn State did have two goals in that game. Just a casual 8-2 soccer scoreline for the NCAA first round. Uh, second round. Connor knows. He knows the heartbreak. Morris Elite in this game trying to pull off the upset. Get justice for Connor's Penn State. Okay, that's enough. Rough Riders in a tough battle for the top spot in the Metro Division. Locked in a battle with Manhattan Soccer Club. Manhattan currently sitting on 21 points. Long Island coming into today with 22 but two games in hand on the second place team. So on points per game, Manhattan are better. Long Island suffered a, a bad setback on Wednesday when they drew FA Euro New York 0-0 on the road. Two dropped points for a team that wanted to put some space between themselves and the team in second, but could not. As they are playing this ball around, Albert King, his ball over the top and put out by Navio just before the Rough Rider player could reach it. Jaden Reed back to a teammate. This ball will fall for Vo Winkle, but he mishit it. The captain for the Rough Riders. Vo Winkle was actually drafted in the third round of the MLS draft by FC Cincinnati. And he decided to come to USL 2 to keep developing. 10 goals in USL 2 so far, Sebastian. He's on a, a tear in this league. I mean, definitely. You got a, you got a number like that in goals. You're, you're probably the reason why the FC Cincinnati picked you. He was a star at Hofstra with 13 goals, 9 assists in the 2021 season. He as well as Ryan Carmichael. Carmichael had 15 goals, nine assists in 2021. A major reason why their college was so successful. Here is Alberto Pengrazi going backwards. It will reach Cormac Pike. 10 minutes gone so far on a hot and humid afternoon in Newark, New Jersey, here is Carmichael with Vo Winkle in support. Carmichael gives it up and overhit it. Was looking for the number eight of Amir Daly. Morris Elite turn that ball over. And apologies on the last chance. It was Al Albert Kang that was trying to keep the ball in. Amir Daly off the bench today. A, a nice player to have as a, a bench option, the, the Duke player, but he's not in yet. As there's a nice move right below us. Nicholas Cavallo, 
but it's turned over. What have you thought of the start to this game? I mean, this is this is pretty good. This is like an even-sided game. There's no, you know, overpowering team here. You know, it's evenly matched, I would say. But it looks like it looks like Favor could go here in f uh, for Long Island. Long Island. I mean, yet, get to, yet to really challenge Velasquez too much. Velasquez has made one stop. But this is the type of game you want to make a statement, if, especially if you're trying to get the top spot in the division. This is uh, kind of like an analogy. Try to take down Goliath, really. You're Morris Lee here, David. Uh, Long Island here, Goliath, trying to take down the monster that is Long Island in this Metropolitan Division. Only one win so far this year for Morris Elite in USL2. That was against FA Euro New York at Drew University. So they're looking for their first win at Rutgers Newark as well. Here at Frederick Douglass Field. Can't ask for a, a better time to get that first home win here than against a strong Rough Rider team. Everything's going, everything could go in favor of Morris Lee here. You got your first home win here at Rutgers Newark. You make that home win, a statement win against Long Island. I mean, everything could go in favor. It's just up to the team to put to make, make that a reality. Carmichael is down behind the play for the Rough Riders. Back to his feet now. Just fell a little awkwardly. This team usually coached by Tom Bowen, but serving a one-game suspension from the sideline, so the Assistant staff will fill in for him. We were just told that he is one of the bleachers a little far away from the team. So really serve that suspension. Not allowed to be in the vicinity of his team. Yeah. Don't want him yelling instructions. Of course, of course. As here's Kang. Of course, Tom Bowen will be taking over as a assistant coach with Iona College in the fall. And that team out of... The Mac, they play in Westchester County and in New York State is almost a nice turn. That was Rock Carlos Puig. Just couldn't quite get the touch he wanted. Of course, the ball in possession of Cormac Pike, the captain here from Morris Elite. Leader in all aspects, already guiding his teammates on what play he wants to organize here. Talking about the Mac, Cormac went oh. to hop to Fairfield there you go. in that conference. As that ball stayed in. Just looking to make a, a run through the midfield, but it's turned over. Oh. Only to fall to Pangrazi on the edge of the box. Pangrazi. Can, can Pangrazi get the goal he's been wanting all season long at home? Sets it up for Navio, and this chance is slowed down just a little bit. In previous games, Pangrazi has always been that one, that one man that's always been itching for a goal. Always getting frustrated whenever the play doesn't go his way. Maybe today's his lucky day. Who knows? It could be his lucky day. Morris Lee really hoping for that. The number nine from Fordham. One goal, two assists in 2021. He does have one goal this summer against Cedar Stars Rush. As that ball is dribbled out of bounds by the number 15 of Oscar Valencia. Sun is really starting to go behind this building just above the field at Rutgers Newark campus. This field is always interesting when there's that sh that shade starting to come in. Right. We saw before the sun was shining down on this field when the, the USW League game kicked off. Now the sun is setting on this uh, on Frederick Douglass Field here in Newark. And what a, a game that was in USLW. 
Even though it was zero zero, there were a lot of chances for both teams. Good chances, of course. Nice run. Cross into oh. the penalty spot. Still on the ground. No one has settled it still. And Carlos Puig shoots and scores! Rock Carlos Puig from the top of the 18 yard box. Wow. It's his second goal of the summer. I mean, there you go. The Spaniard let loose. A player who's been looking to get back on the score sheet as he did in the NCAA tournament. And he does it right off of the post. And I mean, it's 1-0 Long Island. I mean, I'm sorry, Connor. We're going to have to mention he's from Hostra. I'm sorry. Well, have to mention. Yeah. He scores a goal. There you he, go. He also had a brace against Penn State in the second round. <laughs> Connor is enjoying this in, in the booth right now. Of course he is. All right, it is 1-0 in favor of Long Island here. But what a perfect shot that was. No goalkeeper is ever going to stop that. No, I mean, you really had no, no time, no recovery time to get behind that shot. I mean, you were so close inside the penalty area. It was very small recovery time for the goalie. Nice ball over the top. Can Morris Elite immediately respond? You can hear head coach Morris Elite from Morris Elite, Donato Kerchi, having some words spoken out to towards his crew. As that is a, a goal kick coming up as it was shepherded out. 18 minutes in, and the difference is a beautiful Rock Carlos Puig goal. I mean, right off the cross, right off the the post, right off the side of the post into the net. Kissed, get, kissed of the post. Can't even get, can't get better than that. The Metropolitan Division, of course, getting two playoff spots this year after they had three last year, but USL League Two has been rapidly expanding over the years. And with that expansion means you're going to have to change the playoff format a little bit. As here's Valencia to Navio, Morris Elite. A good response since going behind. Almost turned that one over, though. Edgar Torres getting there before Vowinkle. Now here is Vo Winkle on the run, but he is taken down. Maybe that was a little weak call, but anyways, we play on. Ball over the top, and Carmichael's on side. Carmichael, can he shoot? Yes, he can. He can't oh. score, though. Velasquez wow. stopped and then cleared out by Edgar Torres. Great job by Morrissey Lee keeping that one out of the net. Could have been 2-0, but Alex Velasquez comes up big. That combo of Alex Velasquez and Edgar Torres on that save there. Just amazing and very quick, save to say the least. Carmichael was looking for his second goal this summer against Morris Elite. He scored in that 5-0, but a little unlucky there. A good job by the goalkeeper getting down to his right, getting a strong hand on, and then no rebound allowed by Edgar Torres. Is there was a rough rider who was right on top of that second ball. So for now, it stays 1-0. And Long Island here setting the pace, a very slow pace indeed. Just passing it around, not giving Morsley any chances to come back after that one goal. Trying to send that ball up, it's sent backwards. Good job again by the Morris Elite defense. If Long Island win this game, they are looking comfortable for another playoff spot. As Jaden Reed was looking to, to get there, but Instead, it's Velasquez after his defender went full stretch in front of him. That was Jose Adamas. 
Ball turned over in midfield, though. Here come the Rough Riders again. Carmichael switches to the outside. Ball into the box, cleared away by Torres. If you're Morris Lee, you have to soak up the pressure here, stop any other big chances, and maybe attack on the counter. Exactly. Just make do a counter on their errors. Try to enforce an error on Long Island and just counter from that. Nicholas Rossler trying to settle it. Could not. Kang gave it up. His teammate Cavallo couldn't settle. Here is Cavallo now on it. Will one two with Rossler. And we'll go back to their defense. There's George O'Malley wearing the number four today. He usually wears the number 20. But he gave up that number to Pearson Fuso. A nice dummy there. Carmichael on the edge of the box. Put some pressure on so Kang can win it. Here's the goal scorer, Carlos Puig. Looking for Carmichael, but overhit. And Velasquez can settle. You know, looking at the back line for Rough Riders today, Mason Tatafu from Hofstra, originally from Australia. You have George O'Malley, who's from Hofstra, originally from England. Nicholas Cavallo from Davidson and Pearson Fuso, also from Hofstra. So three of the four in the back line today. I mean, you could easily call this Long Island team Hofstra 2.0 at this point. It's Hofstra Ho Summer Camp. Hofstra FC. <laughs> I like your summer camp comment, oh. though. Oh, okay. As here's Morris Elite. I, I was just like. Cross in, and it was actually a shot. I was like, Mr. Connor here was just very adamant about not mentioning Hofstra again. But I'm sorry, we're going to have to do it. David Hashagen. Asked me what the I asked him what I, he thought the over under would be at. He said six. I think we far surpassed that already. It's only been 23 minutes. Of course, Charlie Brooks filling in for the great David Hassagan. He'll be back for the next Morris Elite home game. This ball over the top to Tafu. Running on to it. Can he keep it in? Yes, he can. Right wow. on the line. There you go. Full ball did not cross, so we play on. Kang back to Tatafu. And now is Carlos Puig, who's shown his talent already from outside the box. Instead, it's Rossler to Cavallo. The outside back. Crosses it. Reed with the shot. And Velasquez makes the save. A slow shot from Reed, but still a shot in and of itself. I mean, great, great offensive play, right? Get the get the ball to somebody in near a corner, cross kick, uh, cross kick it into the penalty area. Try and get a header or a foot, maybe to touch the ball to get that goal. Just didn't work out right there. As here come Morrissey Lee on the counter, trying to build an attack here as the. Shade has overtaken half of this field. Ethan Streeter goes back to Will Pierce in midfield instead. Player goes down for Morrissey League referee. No call. Does not call anything, so we no. play on. And he's not getting up. Oscar Valencia eventually wins the throw in and now the Morris Elite player can be looked at. Looks like Oscar Valencia. No, you're, you're correct. You're correct. Looks like it was Gavin. Sorry, no. It's oh, Jose sorry, Adamas. sorry. Thomas. My bad. I thought that was a couldn't five. See, not, yeah, it was, couldn't see the number. Right, right. Looked like a five to me from here. As Alberto Pengrazi has come over to the near sideline to get some instructions from Coach Donato Kirchi. The number nine, willing to get more involved. Wessel Wessel Spiel just pointing out to his 
defense that Pangrazi was back in the game as Pangrazi headed that ball to the feet of Spiel, who will give him a Spiel about what it means to take a shot on target, maybe. Wow. We're just chock full of puns today, aren't we? Oh, yes. Full of puns. Well, I mean, I'm going to tell you one thing. That pun was a little shady. I don't know. We'll have Connor rate yeah. rate the puns. <laughs> he, has, he gives a, a thumbs down to no, the shade comment. You know what? We need a pun counter on this broadcast at some point. That's what I bring yeah. to the broadcast. You're very, you're very punny. You're very punny today. I come in for one day and change this club. You're making, it, you're making it elite. As Albert King is on the move on the near sideline, I'll give that a thumbs up. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, uh, I got we got like a mid thumb. Connor's in the middle. Yeah, we got a mid thumb there. Here's Jaden Reed to Carmichael. And it's turned over. Excellent offensive play by Morris Elite. Three on one. Immediately uh connect getting together quick collectiveness from that defensive line. George O'Malley you can see dribbling long, it upfield. You can see Long Island passing it around, trying to figure out what play they're going to use here. Here's Cavallo. Just slowed down nicely by the defense. Still in, still in. Still in says the referee. And that one lasts off of Morris Elite. Now it's Edgar Torres came over to stop that chance. Here's Vo Winkle. Goes back to his college teammate. Out to Jaden Reed. He makes a couple of moves, gets around the defender. Defender went to his feet, got a little lucky that he didn't take down Reed in the box. And Morris Elite can clear this ball away. Still trying. And eventually win the goal kick. Sebastian, we're now 29 minutes in. What do you think of this game so far? I mean, we this is totally going in favor of Long Island here. Ready one goal in not even the first 30 minutes. Impressive by Long Island. But you see Morris Elite trying to claw their way back here. You know, you see those offensive plays, trying to challenge every which way, trying to institute that press they very well see in their opponents. But, we, you know, we just have to wait and see. Pengrazi comes all the way back to midfield to clean that one up. Vowinkle attacking, and Velasquez got it off of his feet quick enough. But then a poor ball, luckily for Morris Elite, turned right back. Did that one stay in? Yes, it did. Ethan Streeter chasing. And this one almost hit the head coach for Long Island Rough Riders just over their bench. As we will go to our hydration break for the first half with 15 minutes left. Still very hot and humid today. And we'll... I believe we'll take that water break as well. We'll take a, a short break ourselves. Got a, a short commercial. When we're back, will Long Island build on their lead heading into halftime or will Morris Elite build their way back into this game? We'll have to wait and see.
Choosing a college is a big, big, big deal. But I know I started right because CCM is in the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. And we are back from the hydration break. Hopefully you were able to find some water yourself to stay hydrated while watching this broadcast. Totally will be back. 32 minutes in and a Rock Carlos Puig gold for Long Island Rough Riders is the difference so far. And we are back in this one. Back underway as Navio will switch the field for Santiago Vasquez. And as you mentioned before, that shade is coming in quite nicely, covering now about three quarters of the field. And this game was moved up because of the chance of thunderstorms, and now thunderstorms have moved all the way back to 11 p.m., so yeah. we should easily get this game in. There you go. Connor over there, thinking that I'm a jinx. Jaden Reed in Long Island. They're hopeful in 90 minutes to score some more. Morris Elite looking to get back into this game. See if there were any changes that the coaches were able to implement during that hydration break. Morris Elite still pinned back defensively as they have for most of this half. If you saw the Possession stats, if we kept those, I'm sure it would be pretty high in favor of the visitors. You can see right now they're just passing it back and forth, just setting this pace to be as slow as they want to because they are in control. Big word there, in control, because that is what they are. And as you say that, they turn the ball over, but win it right back in midfield. Here's Vo Winkle. Will Winkle outside to his college teammate Carmichael. Carmichael's shot blocked by Kang. Kang makes a turn. Angle was gone, so he had to give it up. Vo Winkle takes a header. Easy save for Velasquez in the end. I mean, good chances are being made here by Long Island. Every which way they want. They are creating a plenty of chances as here comes Morris Elite. They have some numbers in attack. Keep that ball in. You can see. Cross is going to go Ooh. out of play. And you could see immediately the frustration. The frustration, there. Exactly. yes. The lack of communication there. You, could, you saw Jose Adamas calling for the ball for a pass. Instead, just went for a long one. And now it's a goal kick for Long Island. Actually, I don't think that's as much frustration, but maybe cramps or something for TBJ as Carmichael in an offside position. In this heat, you really have to be smart about how much energy you give on every play. There's always the risk of cramps. You need to stay hydrated. That's why we had the hydration break. Right. A hot and humid day. It's been 91 degrees throughout most of this afternoon in Newark. Just to give you a sense of how hot we're talking about. And, and I'm not it? talking about the fashion of Paul, who always has hot fashion. Ooh, okay. Pulls out the Hawaiian shirts. Bet you wish you were in Hawaii right now, wouldn't you? <laughs> he wants to be surfing. But he's here with us, so we thank him for his time. He's surfing on the wave of coolness with us. 
<laughs> what? Connor just said New Jersey's. What was it? What he said? Newark, Newark is, is the Honolulu, Honolulu of New, New Jersey. New Jersey. <laughs> that is a very debatable statement. <laughs> I was trying to piece together what Connor just said, and I was just like, that just fell apart. But what, could, what could be falling apart is Morris Lee's defense as we're going into the last couple minutes of this first half. Good chance there for Morris Elite, but headed away by O'Malley. You know, I do wonder, how many Long Island Rough Rider fans are wondering who Connor is? We have, we've just said Connor, and yeah. I wonder if the away fans are just curious about who he is. All the fans in the stands, this is Connor, everybody. Wave, wave to the fans, Connor. Don't worry, he's a little shy. <laughs> Our producer just said we'll put a, a GoPro we'll on go. and we'll show Connor. We'll do a day, a day in the life, Morris Elite manager. <laughs> As Morris Elite are on the attack. It's like, I don't think Connor likes that idea. This broadcast is really taking a turn in this first half. We're having fun. Oh, yeah. We're having fun up here. That's what matters, right? Yes. All right. This one now turns into a whole bucket of seriousness as Morris Elite here has to get back into this. Morris Elite have had some good chances lately as they're building through the midfield, having to go backwards to Cormac Pike. Haven't mentioned his name too much. Edgar Torres, who we have mentioned, did a good job of stopping a chance earlier for the visitors. About seven minutes away until halftime. Is there a goal in Morris Elite? This cross in, looking for Pangrazi, doesn't get there again. Smothered by the Long Island defense as Cormac Pike is under pressure. Able to get it to a teammate. Carmichael still on top of the Morris Elite defense. This Hofstra attack wanting to replicate what their teammate is, has already done earlier in this game. Instead the ball falls to Wessel Spiel again. Hofstra sophomore from the Netherlands who was a first team all region selection in 2021. Only 20 goals allowed in the fall season. Just shows how good of a defense that he has both in front of him this summer. They've, Long Island hasn't allowed that many goals this summer as well as in their college season. A lot of these players going back for the fall together. Maybe you could say that what contributes to a really good team, the fact that most of these players know each other from their college days. Exactly. Yeah. Not, not many teams do you see confounded right. mainly on one college. Exactly. Usually yeah. it's a, a plethora right. of colleges making up a this USL2 team. But exactly, yep. This is very much based around one school. And they're all in unison about what they're doing. They're all in control. Very much different from Morris Elite. And that could be to their advantage in a big way. Morris Elite have shown some attack as of late. They have only given up the one big chance that Velasquez was able to save since the opening goal. They're putting the press on now. And right, they that should. was Pearson Fuso who got it away. Here comes Carlos Pig, the goal scorer. Lays it off for Jaden Reed. On the attack is Reed. Takes the outside and is slowed down. So he has to go back to Vowinkle. And they have to go all the way back to around midfield. Nice job by Pengrazi. Here comes Morris Elite on the counter. Can they get on this ball? Yes, they can. Is there enough oh. of a touch? Oh. Gets around oh. Spiel. Takes a shot in the side no. netting. Huge chance for Morris Elite. And it goes off 
the side netting. Wow. And stays 1-0. And you can just see on the face of Jose Adam as he cannot believe that he didn't find the back of the net. Well, I feel for that man. I feel for Mr. Adamas down on the pitch right there. That was a great play. Just speeding up there. He was just, it was almost like lightning how fast he was going. Got around Wessel Spiel. Got around defense. He got around a finishing two -on -one product. Yeah, he got around a two-on-one challenge. Carmichael on the other end. Reed will try to attack. He does. Pick it up outside the 18. And that is definitely a chance against a really good side that you have to capitalize on. And Morris Leader called for a foul somehow. You Ethan see, Streeter called for it. You can see Donato Kirchi not having the best of exchange of words with the official. Fourth official went over just to talk to Kirchi. He has every right to be dismayed after that call. It didn't look like a foul. At least from up here in the booth, it didn't look like a foul. Maybe on the field, it's a different perspective. As Pearson Fuso gives it up. We are th almost three minutes away from halftime here. And it still looks like this is a very much dominated Long Island game. Well, Long Island dominated, yet should be 1-1. Right. From the chances that Morris Lee have gotten. Here's a ball in. Carmichael will leave the 18. And there was a foul against Albert Kang. So that will give the ball back to Morris Lee. There's... A couple of more minutes until halftime, see if they have anything in their tank. Of course, there will also be a, there should be a couple of minutes of stoppage time as well due to the hydration break. What are you laughing about over there? Oh, I just remembered something I'm going to tell Paul uh, uh, during halftime. The viewers don't get to know. No, they don't. So behind the curtains, reveal. An iron curtain. My mind is an iron curtain. Pearson Fuso wins that header. Not current for all you history buffs out there. And a foul in midfield. What is going on in the booth this afternoon? I mean, you it's know, a fun uh, one. Yeah, maybe the, the going down of the sun has brought a little bit of a change here in the booth. Maybe it's just that Long Island is just full of Hofstra players. I'm not sure what's more entertaining, the game on the on the field or our producer trying to keep a door open as that ball is blocked. <laughs> Close to halftime now as my color commentary has been muted. Unbelievable. This is unfairness right here. My, our producer just muted me for three minutes. And he's still laughing about it. A, a penalty was called by, by our producer on, on our color commentator. I don't get it. I thought we were friends, man. <laughs> we're just about to halftime here in this USL2 matchup between Long Island Rough Riders and... Morris Elite. Carmack Pike chesting that one down. And this ball going to the outside, but Vowinkle just standing there had a ball hit into him. Pengrazi putting pressure on, but Spiel gets it away. And now Carmichael can take this down. Can he keep it in? Yes, he can. Ball slows on the near side. He has Rossler and Vowinkle in support. Tried to take it himself. And Rossler will go recover it. 
Here's Carlos Puig looking for his second goal. No foul called by the referee. So we play on going the other way. Morsley has numbers in attack. And there's Cormac leading the, leading the tribe here. Cormac Pike, the center back, is up. Usually in the defensive midfield. And a long shot. That was, that was a little bit too close for comfort. Spiel let that go. And it was much closer than I think he thought it was. This, the shot by Gavin Tabije will result in a goal kick. Once again, we've hit 45 minutes, but we're in stoppage time with one goal as well as a hydration break to make up four at the end of this half. Carmichael, the flick. Vowinkle can't get there. Edgar Torres and half clears time it out, and that's the halftime whistle. Halftime's called. So, Rock Carlos Puig with the only goal of the half, kissing it off the post and in. And that's the difference. Can Morris Elite find the equalizer? They were oh so close to late in that first half or will Long Island keep this game going and win by one or more in the second half? We'll have to wait and see. You're watching Morris Elite TV. Morris Elite, zero, Long Island Rough Riders, one. A New Jersey-based law firm with offices in Morristown and Hazlitt, devoted to providing quality legal representation and personal attention in the areas of residential and commercial real estate, estate planning, and personal injury. Contact Joe Filippone at 732-203-0060 or by email at jfilippone at cf-lawfirm.com. George J. Keller and Sons want your house to be the kind of home for all to see. Best roofing, windows, siding too. Great solar and gutters, we're here for you. Our seasoned pros are unsurpassed, so give a call, we'll take your task. Transform your home, that's what we do, so give a call, we're here for you. For roofing, siding, windows and solar, we do it all for you. George J. Keller and Sons. Your family-owned operation since 1980. Call for your free estimate. Starting us off at number five, here is Mendham's Liam Lloyd with the snipe past Morristown goalie Dylan Peck for his 10th goal of the year. Daniel Leonard with great defense to steal the puck back, moving behind a goal to pass it back into the middle to Ryan Leonard with a first time shot to make it 3-1 for Bernard's first whipping. Coming in at number three is Par Regional's Dylan Zelinskis on a great individual effort, creating a breakaway opportunity for the goal as Par Regional breaks through for their first win of the season. First town with the pressure on all of the Mendham players to give Harry Stetton an incredible breakaway to fake out the goalie, letting them know who the boss is to score the fourth goal for Morristown. Finally at number one, it's Pope John star Alana Robinson with the crossover against Sparta's Bryn McCurry and finishes with a smooth jumper. Let's take a look at that again, but in slow motion. The wrap-up reports top five plays of the week are brought to you by Planet Networks provides award-winning high-speed fiber internet, telecommunications, and managed technology services keeping essential information, technology systems, and connections updated, safe, and secure 24-7 requires specialized expertise and support. Planet Networks delivers as a trusted partner, enabling you to accomplish your personal and professional goals. For more information, visit planet.net or stop in and visit the local Newton or Denville offices and tell them Morris Sussex Sports sent you. If you want to catch even more highlights from Morris Sussex Sports Broadcast, tune into the Wrap Up Report as we feature top plays and athletes as well as upcoming previews of the teams you want to watch out for that weekend. You can check us out on Thursdays at 6 p.m. right here on Morris Sussex Sports. Choosing a college is a big, big, big deal. 
But I know I started right, because CCMs are the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? <laughs> it's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. Rich Latman, realtor with Keeneland Latman, Sotheby's International Realty, enjoys helping clients through the process of selling their home and finding their dream home. Whether you need more space, are a first time home buyer, or ready to downsize, Rich can help. Rich is a National Association of Realtors Circle of Excellence Award winner and one of the top producers in his area. With Rich, you can always expect expert analysis excellent service, and exceptional results. For all real estate in Morris and Somerset counties, contact Rich Latman at 908-839-8487 or by email at rlatman at klsir.com. Have you ever needed a day to relax during these stressful times? Well, then look no further than Modern Acupuncture. Modern Acupuncture will ensure your time there will not only be relaxing, but make you feel rejuvenated. Not only will your stay be comfortable, but safe as well. All staff at Modern Acupuncture practice safe social distancing guidelines and keep all equipment and room sanitized after each visit. Modern Acupuncture, making lives better. Center, hey, it's don't you just love it when more Sussex Sports broadcast your games? Or do you prefer a silent motion-detecting camera just following the movement on the court? Let's face it, the only real way to watch your favorite team is through Morris Sussex Sports' award-winning service that brings you play-by-play -play commentary, live instant replays, cool cinematic graphics, real-time scoreboard, fun fan engagement, and much, much more. Plus, all of our broadcasts are free to watch. Grandparents can easily pull it up on their smart TVs, and alumni can watch from all over the world. So if you want to reserve us, have your games broadcasted the Morris Sussex Sports way, then just reach out to me, George Muha, at george at morrisessexsports.com, or call or text me at 973-713-5944. My fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. 
At Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver, and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quote or service question at 973-377-1915. Chairman's Elite Club Loan Officer Mitch Vandalinda of Loan Depot is your go-to person for home loans, whether it's a new home mortgage or refinance of your current home. And she specializes in renovations for those who want to add on and fix up. Because of her extensive knowledge of loan programs, problem-solving skills, and steadfast commitment to customer service, Midge ensures that each borrower receives superior guidance as they pursue one of the most personal investments of their lifetime. Reach out to her today at 973-202-0992 or mvandalinda at loandepot.com. accountant or carpenter needing workers compensation general liability or commercial auto insurance gladstone coverage group has you covered gladstone coverage group is a one-stop agency specializing in many types of insurance including life personal business and medicare supplement insurance as well as employee benefits serving many communities throughout new jersey as an insurance partner protecting you and future generations Contact Tyler Brinson at 908-698-0477 or by email at tylerb at gladstonecoverage.com and tell him Morris Sussex Sports sent you. Hi, I'm Rob Guswell. As the branch manager of our Persephone location for North Point Bank, I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. And we are back for the second half of this USL2 matchup between Morris Elite and Long Island Rough Riders. The Rough Riders wearing white, Morris Elite wearing blue tops. And that first half was a, a very good one. Both teams having some good chances. It was Long Island, though, that converted, whereas Morris Elite had one big chance, but Jose Adamas could not get a shot on target. Charlie Brooks alongside with Sebastian Bravo today. Sebastian, what do you think has to change in the second half for Morris Elite? I mean, they were pretty much on their way to make a big change in that last 10, five minutes of the first half. They looked like they were getting on pace. Just a little bit more communication. Uh, just a little bit more solidification of their mid midfield front line. A little bit stronger defense. And I think they're in pretty good shape. This game just about to get back underway. We're just waiting for the referees who are on that far side leaving their locker room. I'm sure they were cooling off in there just as much as some of the players who were cooling off and hydrating. Of course, everyone needs to hydrate on a day like this, and maybe us in the booth, we haven't been hydrating enough. We're a little off our game, but we're ready for the second half just as much as the players are as the referees have come out. Rock Carlos Puig, Ryan Carmichael, and Matt Vowinkle, the top three forwards for Long Island. You also have Jaden Reed, who's been playing up top. A couple of chances. Carlos Puig scored the goal, and Carmichael had one stopped by Alex Velasquez in net for Morris Elite tonight. 
Doesn't look like we have any substitutions at halftime. And the referees are going to get in position. Sebastian, what's your final score prediction? Oh, wow. Um, I'm putting you on the spot. I, I know. Uh, ooh. Stay as it is. You think 1-0? I think it's going to be 1-0. I think it's going to be that well fought. It's going to be 1-0. I respect it. Yeah. It's we gotta, it. We got to respect the hustle of both teams here. It's been a good game so far. After a 0-0 USLW game here earlier this afternoon. Turning that question towards you, what do you think final score prediction is? Go. I think 2-0 Long Island. I think Whoa. they just have pinned Morrissey League back. I, I, yeah, I just I have that one more goal left in them. I could see it. I think 2-0 would be a respectable scoreline. Okay. You see that. But I could easily see it 2-1. Because I believe Morris Elite have an attack in them as well. As we have the dying light on the field. Overtaken mostly by shade. And the artificial lights have come on as we are now get heading into nighttime here at, Rut at Rutgers Newark. And there was some chances of thunderstorms predicted. So far it's held off Been beautiful first half and it's a beautiful second half and it seems like a lot of the humidity has died out as well which is a big plus and you also saw right there Pangrazi trying to get the overturn very early in this second half ball up top Vo Winkle finds Carlos Puig thought about the long shot instead Keeps going into the 18, pulls it back for Reed. Reed takes the shot, just Ooh. misses. But it was tipped. So it's a corner kick. Again, that assist by Carl's, Carlos Puig there on that uh, on that kick, on the assist there. I mean, what a what a beautiful, beautiful one at that. Jaden Reed looking for his first goal as his service comes in. Not fully cleared. The Long Island are going to go backwards. Just reset after that corner kick. Tatafu is the one who sent it all the way back. And this ball in. Open header over the top. Looks like a Long Island player just did a back roll right there. Yeah, that was George O'Malley, but in actuality, he was offside, so that. The shot doesn't count. A quick start to the second half, though, from Long Island. Wanting to put a stamp on this one. As that one's dribbled out of bounds by Morris Elite. Miscontrolled by Jordi Navio. And Vo Winkle will allow Tatafu to take this throw. Jaden Reed, back to the goal scorer. Was looking for, teammate didn't get there. Reed now, the one, two, outside the box, bodied off of it by Navi, or sorry, not by Navio, by Vasquez. Pengrazi with the nice touch. Pengrazi loses out to Infuso. And coming up are the visitors again. Here's Carmichael. Carmichael shoots. Saved by Velasquez. His second big save on Carmichael. And the Rough Rider attacker has to be wondering what, what it will take to score a goal. I mean, you already, you already find out what it is. It's the deteriorating of the guts and determination of Alex Velasquez in that. As Carmichael will go over to take this corner. Nothing came about on their last corner. What about this time? Far post. Headed away. And Pengrazi will have to play under pressure. And just clears it upfield to reset Morris Elite's defense. Alex Velasquez has had 
some spectacular saves this summer with Morris Elite. 21 saves to his credit. Who can forget that one game where he had five saves in five saves all in one? Six saves, sorry. Corrected. As of right now, he has six saves. He's being credited with six saves right now. The two big ones on Ryan Carmichael to keep it 1 0. He's also had a couple of just easy saves. But you are right. He's he's shown flashes of yeah. excellence throughout the summer. Right. I just everyone remembers that game against Hudson Valley where he made some spectacular highlight reel saves. As Morris Elite get it past the defense. Pengrazi slowed it down, waiting for the foul to be called. So we're about five minutes into the second half. And twice now, Long Island Rough Riders have been close to extending their lead to two. First meeting this season was a 5-0 final score. Rough Riders team, they're looking to get back to winning ways after a draw against FA Euro, their most recent game. They only have one big loss this season, which was to Copa, their other loss to Manhattan Soccer Club, who are currently second in the Metro, but games in hand on Long Island. As Velasquez will build out from the back for the hosts. The boys in blue looking to get themselves back into this game. They've already had one big chance from Jose Adamas off target. They need to create some more, but at the same time need to keep defending as that one's out for Nicholas Rossler. Keeps it in. His cross, looking for Volwinkle, doesn't get there. Ball in midfield with Will, with Will Pierce. It gets up to Pengrazi. Finds a player with space. And that is Ethan Streeter on the run. Defended by Ooh. Reed, and Reed wins that shoulder to shoulder shoulder battle not only attacker Jaden Reed but also can get back on defense as he sh as he's shown there ball over the top looking for a teammate was Cavallo but it went out for a goal kick first before he's able to keep it in play is not sure what the referee is stopping here. Maybe said that the ball was never fully stopped. Of course, ball has to come to a complete stop before you can take a goal kick. Morris Elite trying to stay in this game, but Rough Riders just keep coming again and again and again on offense. I mean, let's just say it right now. They're making it rough for Morris Elite. Thumbs up. That made my day. Morris Elite get this ball back now. Cormac Pike in control. Cormac Pike to Streeter backwards and looking over the top, but closest man there is O'Malley, and he let his goalie take it to restart play. With an open net, you have to be smart with that pass, and luckily Albert Kang was just able to corral. So this maybe just over hit a little bit by Spiel. Here's Tatafu. Gives it up to Vowinkle. 
looking to give it back. Now does find Tatafu, he shoots. And Velasquez with another save. And it just stayed out of the net. Alex Velasquez is keeping him his team in this one. Jordan oh. Tatafu, not really known for his goal scoring. Is there a late foul called there? A little bit of a tumble there from Ethan Streeter. Just shaking it off. Streeter who had that good run earlier this half before he was stopped by Jaden Reed. Considering how hot this afternoon has been, it feels downright nice right now. Sun has completely st uh, stopped from showing its face on this Rutgers Newark. Nice ball in, and it goes out for a goal kick. Couple of players in the vicinity for Morrissey Lee, and just a a wayward touch. Another big chance missed from Morris Elite to tie this one up. And that's just showing the importance maybe for Long Island to get a second if they do. As Vowinkle takes this. Long Island coming in numbers. Rossler looking for a teammate. And nice job by Carmack Pike. Carmack Pike just... Kicking that one up towards the fans who are sitting on the bleachers outside of the parking lot up on the upper side of Frederick Douglass Field. Service, far post. And that was Pierce and Fuso with the header that went wide. Didn't have the angle. There is a sub for Morris Elite. 14, 14 is. Give us one second here, ladies and gentlemen. So that will be Gavin Tabije's day done. And in comes for Gavin, Alex Visha, the high school junior, now going into his senior year from Roxbury High School. Has had four goals, one assist, and nine points in his high school career, making his impact on this Morsley team. And he's trying to make the impact off of the bench as Infusa is pressured by Pengrazi. Just forces a turnover, but Infusa did his job of getting it upfield before turning it over. Visha just ain't unable to keep his footing there. Just over 30 minutes left in this one. So we'll see if any more subs are used soon. There are some good players on the bench for Long Island. Is this ball looking for Jaden Reed? Reed gets on it. Reed in a battle. Reed with the shot. Wow. And he was called for the foul. I mean, look at that. Three on one challenge, three on one battle there and you make it out of it, that's impressive. Jaden Reed called for a little bit of an elbow, pushing out the Morris Elite defenders. And here's Pengrazi. There's a man open on the near side, now found is Streeter. His cross, oh. no one at the far post. Pengrazi and Visha the closest to it. 
I mean, Chances a, are opening up now for Morris Elite. And what a great chance that was by set up by Ethan Streeter. So Wessel Spiel instead will build out from the back. Spiel hasn't had too much to deal with this afternoon. Just that one big chance from Adamas who rounded the keeper, but then his shot went into the side netting as Jaden Reed makes a turn. Carlos Puig, the goal scorer, goes down and that was a little simulation maybe. Got the free kick. Foul called against Oscar Valencia. And the free kick is taken quickly and short. Nice ball by O'Malley. But the return ball by Carmichael just forced them to go forward. Haven't really mentioned Carmichael and his accomplishments. But when you talk about established and good college players, he led the nation. He led Division One with 39 points this past season as Albert Kang gets the turnover. Carmichael originally from Northern Ireland. As here's Carlos Puy again. Outside for Rossler into Kang. Kang looking for a teammate. His cross blocked. Tafu's cross. Finds Vowinkle looking for Carmichael, and Pike was there. Pengrazi putting pressure on and forcing Infuso to go to the Morris Elite keeper, Velasquez who's made three huge saves in this game to keep it 1-0. As that ball went out before it came back in. We have a sub getting ready for Long Island Rough Riders. Looks like Gene Paul Marine. Oh, Seton Hall player. Goes by JP. From Briarwood, New York. Played with New York Red Bulls under 18. And was also ranked a top 100 recruit by College Sports today. It's actually going to be a double sub for Long Island. 15 as well. That's going to be Nicholas Petridis when he comes in. The St. John's grad. Is, that's a nice turn. Long Island trying to Keep play going with the players on the field right now. Albert Kang switches outside to Jaden Reed. Jaden Reed into Von Winkle. It was blocked. Rossler looking to get across to Von Winkle, and it was chested back to Velasquez. Nice turn by Will Pierce, looking for Visha. But the high schooler could not settle. Visha is earning some good experience tonight Very for Morris much. Elite. Very much so, yes. Playing against a, a team made up of mainly players that appeared at the NCAA tournament this past fall. Cannot complain about the development that that offers his future getting to play at a high level. 63 minutes played, long ball. Looking for Carmichael who chests it down. Takes the shot, saved. Once again, Carmichael denied by Velasquez. Once again, it stays 1-0 thanks to the Morrissey League keeper. But I mean, you can't go on. You can't deny how well of an effort that was by Carmichael there. I mean, just what a 
What a try, what a kickoff of a long ball there. He has to be getting frustrated by Velasquez in net. So he's taking another corner now. A little bit of a long one. Rossler will settle. Stayed in. Goes backwards to Jaden Reed. Reed over the top. Vowinkle couldn't settle. It's cleared by Vasquez. And Adamas is on the run. On the prowl. Cannot get the ball. This ball to the near side for Rossler. Tatafu couldn't quite get ahead on that. Kang recovers. Vowinkle to Carmichael over the top looking for Kang. And Vasquez will see it go out for another Long Island corner. The corner kicks are starting to add up for Long Island. And with those long kick and those with those ki uh, corner kicks come countless opportunities as well. They can be taken either greatly or negatively. Long Island still waiting to make their two subs. As we will play on with the current 11 for both sides. Another overhead corner. Tatafu unable to get it on on the far side. Now Visha tackled off by Albert Kang, and that will allow the double sub finally as Jaden Reed is one of the players coming off. It looks like Nicholas Rossler is the other. Yep, that is exactly who it is. So Rossler is out, and so is Reed. For JP Marin and number 15, Nicholas Petridis. Jean Paul Marin goes by JP, he's a senior, Seton Hall senior. He was a Big East third team selection back in 2020. And that was a, a great year for the Seton Hall men's soccer program. They went through some struggles this year in the Big East. But he's been a, a bench player for Long Island for much of this summer. Foul call by the referee, Adamus went down. Meanwhile, Padridis selected by the New York Red Bulls in 2020 out of St. John's University. Mainly been a, a bench player as well for Long Island this summer. So a couple of players in this game now have been selected by MLS squads for Long Island Rough Riders. Talking about one of them, there's Vo Winkle putting a press on. Bad pass. And now here's Visha. Morrissey lead on the ball in midfield. That's a nice ball, plenty of space. Cross in over Pangrazi and a player was on the ground. That was Adamus, but no foul called against Long Island. So we have 23 minutes left, plus stoppage time. It seems like it's cool enough that we won't need a hydration break, but we'll have to wait and see. Alex Velasquez, the star for Morris Elite right now, keeping this game at 1-0. Bad touch by Carlos Puig. And the ball back to Velasquez who boots it upfield. And that's one that can be 
claimed by the stands. In the second half, much better conditions for the players, heat-wise as well as the fact that the sun has fully gone down now. Right. And we could say this is a much better half for Morris Elite as they're really getting on that attacking end. You just saw right right now. But on the offensive end now, our Long Island, they give it up. Pengrazi has a runner, chooses Streeter instead. Up to Adamus, who has the biggest chance so far today for Morris Elite. Just missing an open net. It's been a fun day in the booth here. Charlie Brooks and Sebastian Bravo have been taking you along these two USL games. First the USLW match. As there's a chance headed out by George O'Malley for a corner. That one was 0-0. This one already has a goal and it looks likely there's going to be another goal in it. The question is which side will get the next goal, if there is one. Okay, let's and see what we got here with this corner kick here. Corner comes in, runners in the box, but it is going to be Marin and Long Island that get away and win the foul as well. If you look at what this does for the Metropolitan Division, it would move Long Island up to 25 points this season, four points clear of Manhattan SC. And for Morris Elite, they would stay bottom of USL League Two with only three points that they won at home against FA Euro New York earlier this summer. That was at Drew University. So they're still looking for their first win here at Rutgers Newark. As Vowinkle was looking to the outside for Petrides. Streeter's making a good run here. Streeter looking for anybody that he can. Was able to find Valencia. Long kick there. Almost went in the way of the cameraman. And now we will have. I believe our second hydration break. Yep. So yep. chance for the fans at home to get some water, get some food, gear up for the final 20 minutes. We'll go to a short commercial break, and we'll hydrate ourselves up in the booth. And when we're back, is there anything left in this last 20 minutes? Long Island holding on to a 1-0 lead. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. Frankford, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, 
Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. And we're back from the hydration break. Some commercial is on your screen there. Of course, let's give a shout out to the sponsors, Sebastian. Oh, sure, of course. We have uh, the shop Chatham for all your Italian food needs. We got Alfred's Sports Shop and, of course, Jag One's Physical Therapy. Of course, they provide our medical personnel here at all our L uh, USLW League and USL2 games making sure that all our players are medically correct and ready to go. As Ryan Carmichael will sub out now for the Rough Riders, and Chad Letts will sub in number 11 for the Long Island Rough Riders. Letts, who has not seen much action in USL League 2, but he's getting some minutes now, and I have a feeling that Alex Velasquez is going to be in the nightmares of Ryan Carmichael tonight as Carmichael had three or four big chances, but Velasquez stopped him every single time to keep this game 1-0. I mean, you want, to, you want to talk about a dominant player on the Long Island team, like you said, that is uh, Ryan Carmichael. I mean, just four shots, just getting on there, doing what, he's, doing what he does best. But, you know, Alice Velasquez has got to stop him. Chad Letts, there's his first touch, but it lets him down. That was not a pun that was intended. As Morris Elite have 15 minutes left if they want to get a point out of this game to find the net behind Wessel Spiel. Cross in, George O'Malley heads it away. Nice cross by Jordi Navio. Ball right in between the legs of Marin. Long cross looking for Pangrazi, but it's over hit. And O'Malley will let that go behind for a goal kick. This is one of the last three games for Maurice Elite USL2 team. Visiting the Hudson Valley Hammers and NJ Copa for their last two games. Two teams that are currently thick into the playoff discussion and will be looking for points no matter what. Maurice Elite, of course, will be looking for more points today and more points in those two games as well. As that one was turned over in midfield. Torres outside to Adamas. Nice run. Balls up to Valencia. Returns to Vasquez. And Vasquez will cross. Men in the area. Oh. Pengrazi. Still on it, goalie's down, and Navia will take the long shot, tipped by Pangrazi, but Spiel got back to his feet and is talking to both the referee and his teammates, asking for the foul, as I think two players for Long Island were fouled in that play. Spiel is covering his eyes, trying to, I think he maybe got a little contact from Pangrazi when they both went up. Drop ball from the referee. Spiel is still having some issues with his eyes. Just trying to wash whatever maybe got in his eyes or clear his vision after that contact. Would have been very, very upset had Pangrazi scored a goal there, I'm sure. 
Nice ball out to Streeter. Morrissey Lee look like they have a chance of getting a goal in this one. But you always have to be wary. You don't want to open up too much and allow a, a good Long Island Rough Riders attack any chances. And they've shown before how well they do when they're in possession of the ball on the attacking end. Trying to find Letts. Does not get there. Here's Adamas on the run. Oh. Goes down, no foul. Just a blatant no from the ref. Cavallo trying to find a teammate, does find a Marin. We are almost down to the last 10 minutes here of official time in this matchup. Let's. Goes outside. Could there's thing about the cross? Could something happen here for Morris Elite? Nice ball outside. Morris Elite just forcing Long Island to reset play. Ball over the top of Vo Winkle, but his shot is off target. Offside, anyways. So that is another shot that won't count because the offside flag was up. Free kick taken shortly. Here's Valencia. Oscar Valencia who's had a decent game in midfield today for Morris Elite. Credit to them for keeping this game close. As here's Adamas up to Pengrazi, but it's intercepted. Streeter lost his footing there. Let's have a run. And the referee will have to stop play since it hit him. A new rule this year that if the ball touches the referee, you have to stop play, especially if it gives an advantage to the other team. Savo Winkle will take that dropped ball. Another sub being readied underneath us. Paul Henschke. As we're under 10 minutes in this game. It's been a back and forth game, but only one goal on a shot off of the far post by Rock Carlos Puig, the Hofstra sophomore from Spain. Throw in. Goes the way of the boys in blue. And that will allow the Cal Poly player to come in. And Matt Vowinkel will come out. Henschke will come on and deliver the captain's armband to Petridis, who will take it. Interestingly, was taking his time, I think debating on who is going to take the captain's armband. Petridis is the one to place it onto his arm. Interesting to have a player who didn't even start the game take over the captain's armband. This is Cormac Pike making a run from his center back position. Ball over the top. And the header back claimed by Spiel. Eighty-three minutes on the clock. Rough Rider bench giving instructions to the players on the field. A a, a lot of subs have been used, so. 
new tactics possibly, just trying to especially hold on to the 1-0 result. As Adamus thought he was fouled, we play on. Visha will send it backwards. Navia with time, crosses it. Missed the head of Pengrazi. And it's turned over again. Morrissey Lee on the attack. Only to be booted all the way to this near side. Turned over on the run. It's a, a three on one maybe. Chugging back is a Morris Elite defender. Petridis takes the shots Ooh. blocked. And a handball by the Long Island player. After the shot was blocked, it went off of his hand. So that is a sense of relief for Morris Elite. You can hear the the co if head coach for Long Island here is having an exchange of words with the official. It was not called by the assistant referee who had a better angle. It was called by the head referee in the center who was far off of the play. So a tough one for him to call. As here comes Morris Elite. Nice setup by Streeter. Adamus. Streeter has plenty of time. Crosses. Adamus has a handball. It's going to go out for a goal kick anyways. Nice. I believe it will be a handball called against Adamus actually, not a goal kick. Nice setup by Adamus and a good placement of the ball by Streeter on that cross. On that cross. So five minutes left. Morrissey Leader showing some fight tonight. They gotta, they gotta batten down the hatches for their eventual trying to get back on top here. Long Island now into a full defensive mode possibly, just trying to hold on to this lead as they are coming in attack now. Henschke and Letts are the extra numbers up front. Letts will take this one, make a turn. Thought about the shot and hesitated a little bit too long. O'Malley up to Henschke who was offside. Didn't get himself back on sides. And actually looking at the Morris Elite player, it's Ethan Streeter is holding his side yeah. slash back. Yeah. We hope it's nothing too serious or it's something that doesn't really need medical attention. Looks like maybe just a little bit of a cramp. Has been very hot today. It's tough conditions to play in in right. the heat of summer with the humidity on top of that. And that man in net has to be the star of the game the way that he has played today. Alex Velasquez has given his team a glimmer of hope to get back in this game as Henschke falls. Good chance for Morris Elite. Header is on target but saved. Visha with the shot. Giving a good impression of himself to the Morris Elite coaches. In his limited USL two minutes, every impression is pivotal for a, a young player. As that one's headed backwards, but the foul called against number 11, Chad Letts. No more subs wing for either side. Justin Weiss and Amir Daly are the only other Long Island substitutes available to them. As Henschke will slow this one down. Ball finds Letts. 
89th minute. And Long Island will be smart. Don't want to force anything and turn the ball over. As I say that, they turn it over and it's turned right back. Streeter thought he had a runner, did not. Henschke will give up on that one as it falls to Velasquez. No Tom Bowen on the sideline tonight for Long Island Rough Riders, but it looks like they're going to find themselves back into winning play unless there's a chance for Morris Elite. George O'Malley was able to clear that one away temporarily. Here's Visha. He'll give up a goal kick. It's been a tough season for Morris Elite. Their goal differential down to minus 27 now. If they can't fund an equalizer, they'll drop to one win and 10 losses this season. The Rough Riders would improve to nine wins, two losses, and one draw if they're able to hold on. A testament, though, to the talent of Morris Elite tonight as they have held a, a potent offense for Long Island to only one in main part due, due to Velasquez making some big saves on Carmichael as 90 has hit the clock. Pressure time for Morris Elite. Stoppage time now. Can they make Somewhat of an impact in these last few minutes. Adam has tried to attack that ball. Ball went out of play. Adam is not happy with himself. Nice ball taken down by Pangrazi. This is a last ditch effort right here. Here's Streeter. Adamas can cross in over the top of Pangrazi and no one able to find the return ball. Henschke was trying to attack that one. Instead, it's another Morrissey lead attack. Pangrazi's in the area. Header backwards and pushed over top by Spiel. That was a dangerous backward header by George O'Malley, almost an own goal. Alex Velasquez is going to come all the way up. He comes out of his net to give the extra player and it's not a good enough corner kick, but being cleared out by, by Letts will allow Velasquez to get back to midfield without any worries. Long throw coming from Morris Elite. All the way in the middle and off of the post. But there was a foul before the shot would not have counted Morris Elite. We're so close. And I'm not sure who was called for that foul. But that one was very close to going in the net. I'm speechless as to how this game has gone. As I mean, Chad you, Letts is down for Long Island, actually. You get that close of a shot. Just missed it by the touch of Spiel. If I mean, there was no foul there, that would have been another huge chance missed for Morris Elite. But I think it's safe to say, we can say those words. Let's, we'll have to come off now for some medical attention. This ball will come all the way back 
Oh, actually, I don't believe on the grounds. By taking the long throw-in, it was a foul throw-in. You do not see that at this level of, of soccer. I mean, you do see it at this point in a game. I mean, you're we're in stoppage time. Morrissey Lee asking for some more time to be added as Letts was being attended to by the trainer. And I think the referee, at least the fourth official, was just saying that they believe they're going to add another one minute. One more minute is what the referees One more minute, one more saying. chance. Still a chance for Morris Elite. No foul, no foul. Vasquez in the corner. Not where you want to be. And he dribbles it out for a throw in. Got trapped there by the Long Island double team of Petridis and Henschke. Didn't allow him to get a, a cross off. Henschke just tosses aside the Morris Elite player, and the foul was called on the first grab by Vasquez, not on the push by Henschke. Once again, unlucky for Morris Elite. Foul could have been called on either of the players. Ball over the top, Henschke running onto it. Doesn't get there, though, as Edgar Torres came across. Now Vasquez under pressure in the corner, turned over. J.P. Marin is around his defender. And that ball stayed in. Now it goes out for a goal kick. Is there enough time now for one last attack? That's the question. as Alex Velasquez has to race over to grab the ball. Takes it quickly. That ball turned over go. on the run. Velasquez has to get back on his line. Here's JP Marin. Marin dribbles, but Edgar Torres intercepts. That's, That's the final play, though, of this game. Long Island come on the road and get back to winning ways. A Rock Cartless Puig goal in the first half, the difference. But Alex Velasquez, the star on the day with some amazing sprawling saves to keep it 1-0. Morris and Lee were oh so close. Very close. To indeed. an equalizer. Oh, yeah. A rough loss for them. They dropped to 1-10 this season with their next game against the Hudson Valley Hammers on the road, then finished the season at NJ Copa. This was their last home game. Meanwhile, for Long Island, they have a fantastic matchup next Wednesday as they go to Manhattan. A matchup between number one and number two in the Metropolitan Division. We hope everyone has a fantastic 4th of July weekend. The holidays are upon us. A great soccer game, a great doubleheader on this day for Morris Elite, although they are unable to pick up a win in either of their two games. They're both very, very entertaining. And Sebastian, you have any other words to wrap it up? I mean, it's just a very, it's a very sad sight to see for Morris Elite. Just got adding one more loss to this. But you know what? There are two more chances for them to bounce back on that record. It's not over yet. Never say never. And I'm hopeful they'll get something on the road in their last home game here at Rutgers Newark. So, Morris Elite, in their last home game, they dropped to 1 and 10. Long Island now 8 2 and 1. So, once again, everyone, we hope you have a fantastic 4th of July weekend. From Charlie Brooks and Sebastian Bravo, we say so long. Long Island 1, Morris Elite 0.
Streeter gave the ball away. Ryan Carmichael goes backwards. Cross in. Header. Saved by Velasquez. Alex Velasquez. The, the penalty spot still on the ground. No one has settled it still. And Carlos Puig shoots and scores! But anyways, we play on. Ball over the top. And Carmichael's onside. Carmichael, can he shoot? Yes, he can. He can't oh. score, though. Velasquez wow. stopped. And then cleared out by Edgar Torres. Here comes Morris Elite on the counter. Can they get on this ball? Yes, they can. Is there enough oh. of a touch? Oh. Gets around oh. Spiel. Takes a shot in the side oh. netting. Huge squeak. Thought about the long shot instead. Keeps going into the 18, pulls it back for Reed. Reed takes the shot, just Ooh. misses. But it was tipped. He loses out to Infuso. And coming up are the visitors again. Here's Carmichael. Carmichael shoots, saved by Velasquez. His second big save. Here's Tatafu. Gives it up to Vowinkle. Looking to give it back. Now does find Tatafu, he shoots. And Velasquez with another save. And it just 